Hey, what's up guys, Soldier Knows Best there. So, okay, let's just jump right into this one. So I'm going to be comparing the new OnePlus Buds versus the Apple AirPods. And I'm going to start with the price because there is a big difference because the AirPods cost $160, but these OnePlus Buds only cost $80. Yes, that's half the price and that is a big deal. But before you make your decision just off the price alone, let's take a look at everything else. So when it comes to the design of these, you can see that the OnePlus Buds are at the very least inspired by the AirPods because they do look similar. But these OnePlus Buds are bigger and for me at least, that does mean I do get a better fit in my ear with these because there is more surface area to be in contact with the inside of my ear. And so because both of these are just made out of plastic and they don't come with any silicone tips, I like the fact that these OnePlus Buds do fit a little bit better and both of these do have that stem that hangs out of your ear and if you do try to take your shirt off with these in your ears both of them are going to be equally frustrating because odds are you're going to knock them out of your ear uh, but one thing with the OnePlus Buds is that they do have an uh, IP rating of IPX4 and so that means that they should be fine against accidental splashes of water and sweat but even though the AirPods don't have a rating like this I've accidentally left these in my pockets and put my pants in the washing machine and these AirPods have survived that with no problem so both of these should be fine you know against water water and sweat. Now, if you do like some variety when it comes to colors, the AirPods only come in classic white, so you're out of luck from Apple, but the OnePlus Buds do come in this Nord blue color, and then also they do sell these in white, and then also they do sell them in gray as well. But, you know, again, if you really want AirPods in different colors, there are companies that do paint them and sell them to you, but you will be paying more money for that. Now, both of these do support touch controls. So for the AirPods, you can double tap either the left or the right earbud, and you can control your music that way, or you can bring up Siri. And then with the OnePlus Buds, they not only give you a double tap option, but also you can do a long press on either one of the earbuds to be able to control your music and also activate the voice assistant. So you get a couple of more ways to be able to use touch controls. Now, speaking of assistance, uh, if you do have the AirPods second generation, you will be able to activate, hey, Siri. Um, to be able to bring her up is because it's always going to be listening. But with the first generation, um, you can only assign that to like a double tap. And with the OnePlus Buds, they don't have an always on listening feature, but you can set up the voice assistant to activate when you do double tap or long press. Now, both of these do come with charging cases and each one fits in your pocket with no problem, but the AirPods case is going to be slightly smaller. And then on the back, you will find a single button that when you press it, you'll see the charging information or the battery information for the case. And then also when you do press and hold, that will activate the pairing mode for these. Now, speaking of pairing, both of these do support fast pairing. So uh, with the AirPods, if you are using an iPhone 7 and above, you'll be able to just open up the lid and then it will pop up on the screen and allow you to pair that to your iPhone. And then when it comes to the OnePlus Buds, if you are using an Android phone that's running Android 6 and above, you'll be able to do the same thing. But when you do want to use your AirPods on an Android phone or vice versa with the OnePlus Buds, you just have to go through the Bluetooth settings like normal. And when these are paired with their primary operating system, you can see information like the battery life of the individual buds in the case. Like on Android, you can see that in the notification panel. And on iOS, you can see that information in the battery widget, especially with iOS 14, that you can just put right there on your home screen. And just like fast pairing, if you are using your AirPods on an Android phone, you can't see that type of battery information unless you download another app like I'm using Android Pod. So when I do open up my AirPods and I have them paired with my Android phone like I have with this OnePlus Nord, um, you can see that it does show me that same information like it does on my iPhone, which is pretty cool. And also I can see that information in the notification panel as well. Oh, and also in this app, you can enable ear detection for the AirPods on Android because by default, that only works when you're using them with an iOS device. So when you do take them in and out of your ears, they don't play or pause the music with Android, but this app allows you to do that. And with the OnePlus Buds, you don't have to worry about that because that feature works on both iOS and Android straight out of the box. And it's also faster to start or stop playing your music on both platforms too. So even on iOS, it outpaces the AirPods when it comes to that. And so since we're already on the subject of batteries, let's talk about the battery life. So the AirPods, when you put the AirPods in your ear, you can listen to music up to five hours, but with the OnePlus Buds, you can listen to music up to seven hours. And then both of these cases are charging cases. So combined with the charging case, you can get a total listening time with your AirPods of 24 hours, um, but the OnePlus Buds can get you a total listening time of up to 30 hours. So that's a significant difference in battery life. And the OnePlus Buds also do support 
fast charging. So when you plug in the case via the USB-C cable that comes with it, in just 10 minutes, you can get up to 10 hours of listening time, which is pretty fast. And with the AirPods, if you charge them for even longer, for 15 minutes, you're only going to be getting three hours of listening time. But the AirPods has one trick up its sleeve because you can buy a wireless charging case separately, which will cost more money, but that will allow you to be able to just plop this down on the wireless charger and then walk away where the OnePlus Buzz do not have that option at all. And another unique feature that the OnePlus Buzz can take advantage of when you are using them with an Android phone is that if you do lose the earbuds, maybe they're lost in the couch somewhere, you can actually go into the settings and ping the individual earbuds. So I'm gonna ping the right one here. And let me put it up to the microphone so you can hear it. Pretty cool. All right, stop. Okay, so now on to sound quality, and I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet for you. So for me personally, I like the sound coming out of the AirPods more. I found that the sound was more warmer and full of life. And also too, I found that it was louder. And on OnePlus, they do say that they have, you know, bass boost. And I did feel the bass a little bit, but it wasn't anything that was better than the AirPods by a wide margin. But on the OnePlus Buzz, you do find that you do have support for Dolby Atmos. But if you're not doing like a side-by-side -side comparison, uh, I think most people will be fine with the audio quality coming from each one of these earbuds but that's everything I wanted to talk about and if I had to really honestly just choose a winner today for me that I would recommend to a lot of people it's hard to go against the OnePlus Buds because they cost half as much as the AirPods and they have a good amount of features. They may not be as tightly integrated with the Apple ecosystem of products um, but if you don't really need all of that and you don't need like hey support these oneplus buds they just get the job done for half the price and it's really hard to go against that so for right now these are my thoughts if something changes like if apple drops the price i'll let you know so make sure you do subscribe and hit that notification bell and also leave your comments down below and let me know what you think about this comparison between the two and which one would you choose and like always i do want to thank you for watching this video and i will catch you later peace